Today I'm going to show you my home-built Mortal Kombat arcade. I'm going to show you how I run Fightcade and dispel the myth that it's extremely difficult to run Fightcade, to set it up, and to get it working. I'm going to show you how I set up mine on this Mortal Kombat machine. And I'm also going to show you how I ran a Raspberry Pi with RetroPie in conjunction with another SBC, specifically a Latte Panda Alpha, which runs my Fightcade. And I'm gonna show you how I ran them together without a complicated wiring setup or system to make both run on the same arcade. Now, as you can see here, I have a power button that boots up into, a, a, boots up a Raspberry Pi into RetroPie. Now, when this boots up, it boots up right into Mortal Kombat 1, 2, or 3 selection menu. That's all I wanted on this uh, machine was just Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. But I also wanted to play Fightcade, and we all know that you can't run Fightcade on a Raspberry Pi or any other ARM-based uh, SBC. So you need an x86 type uh, SBC to run Fightcade. So what did I do? Well, I used my Latte Panda Alpha to uh, run Fightcade separately as opposed to my Raspberry Pi setup back here. Now I'm gonna power this down and I'm gonna show you how I power up the Latte Panda Alpha. And I'll explain why I had the Raspberry Pi with the Latte Panda Alpha, two SBCs on this unit. Because I know a lot of you right now are saying, well, if you have a Latte Panda Alpha, why don't you just run RetroPie on the Latte Panda Alpha and Fightcade as well on one SBC? And I'll explain why I didn't do that originally. So my Raspberry Pi is mounted in the back and powered on through the button on the left. The Latte Panda Alpha is underneath the control panel. I simply power it on right here with the button right here and it boots right up. Right here we have the amplifier and the most important part right here is we have a USB switcher. Because our encoder is USB, we have a wire going from the Latte Panda to the switcher and another USB wire going from the Raspberry Pi to the switcher, and then the encoder goes into one end. And what happens is when I use the Raspberry Pi, it's on switch port number one. When I need to run the Latte Panda Alpha, I simply press that button and it runs over to the USB port two switcher. And this is a pass-through. It's not gonna add delay, it's not gonna add uh, any latency, it's simply a pass-through, and it works just as good as whether you go direct hardwire right to the SBC. So what does this mean? It means instead of doing mass wiring where you're splitting wires and breaking off so you can run to two encoders or two separate systems or, or maybe to the pins and one USB, and you just use this USB switcher and run your encoder into it. And Now I know people are asking right now, why would you run a Raspberry Pi uh, in conjunction with a Latte Panda Alpha when you can just put RetroPie on the Latte Panda Alpha? You are correct. And I do have RetroPie right here, and it boots right up. The reason I have the Raspberry Pi still in the back is because sometimes I want to take my Latte Panda Alpha and run higher powered games like N64 games or arcade games or other systems that need a little bit more power and can't run on a Raspberry Pi. So I take the Latte Panda Alpha out, simply unplug it, hook it up to the TV, and I can play those games. Now, while in RetroPie here, I wanna go back and I wanna show you the USB switcher for the encoder and the joysticks. As you can see here, nothing happens when I move the joystick. But when I lift up the control panel, I hit the button for the USB switcher. Now you can see it works fine on the Latte Panda Alpha. We are no longer on the Pi here. This is RetroPie through Ubuntu on a Latte Panda Alpha. Now getting back to Fightcade. A lot of you are saying, oh, I thought you needed Windows and I'm gonna need a Windows key to run Fightcade. No, you do not. The Latte Panda Alpha is x86 based SBC, and if you want to find something at a low cost that's x86, not ARM based, check out ETA Prime or Explaining Computers, and they will find you a good SBC that's x86 based, and you can run any Linux software and download Fightcade 
to that Linux uh, software and run Fightcade from it. Now to install Fightcade, you just go to fightcade.com and this is the Linux install, Windows, or even Mac. Once you install that, you're just going to execute the program. And for a Linux-based system, I have it installed to my desktop. I open up the correct folder, run the SH program. We're going to actually open with other application, and we're going to select the Wine program. You're going to have to install Wine if you don't have that on your uh, Linux software already. Once Fightcade opens, you'll see it's already logged in for me, and obviously the game's over here. You can run a test game right here. And once you set up your inputs, add your credits, you can see that it works fine. Now, if you have the correct type of monitor, when you turn on each unit, the monitor just powers on and recognizes there's a signal and you get the video picture. As for audio, you can have one running to the monitor and the other one running to the speakers, which is what I do, or you can get a switcher where you can run audio 3.5 uh, millimeter cables into a audio switcher and out to the speakers as well. It starts to get a little more complicated when you start adding all these switchers, but the point of this video is to show you simultaneously running two different SBCs at once with one encoder and not some complex wiring diagram so you can get your joystick to work on two different uh, types of SBCs. Hey, that's it. Leave any questions in uh, the comments and I will answer them and help you out any way I can. Thanks for watching.